Lava Cave is fairly short. I kind of want to fight one of these Ferris. Just because they look awesome. Dang it. I thought I was too far away for this bat to hear me, but I was clearly mistaken. Die, you stupid bang. Stop using your binding noise. I find it very offensive. It's a good thing that Tempest Kick can still turn me around. Winged Awakening? What does that do? Oh, I inflicted break on a flying enemy. Take this. Get on the ground. Get toppled. Well, maybe it's because it was a bat. Bats are fairly small flying enemies. I'm getting less experience. Or Dunban is getting less EXP than the others. Look at that. He's getting like half the experience and AP. It's probably because he's a level higher. Wait a minute. Grab that. Blood Squirrel. And Ice Monkey? What the heck? No Toferis. Let's go. Wait a minute. I can probably make you fall. Oh, no, you resisted. All right, duly noted. Ah, great. The stupid Nebula sauce. As we all know, I hate dealing with Nebulas. Is Thunder an Aether attack? Probably is. It might be worth getting a little bit of Aether on Dunman, like with a gem or something, just to help that attack, if nothing else. I would imagine it's Aether. I don't know what else it would be. Die, you stupid Ferris. Die. Yeah, no one is taking damage because everything's attacking me, and they can't hit me. I love it. Savage? How dare you try and savage me? There you go. Ricky's level 47. That's pretty good. Melly is about to be probably after we kill this uh, nebula. Is there another Ferris running here? Man, that thing that thing was bawling its way over here. We need to kill the Ferris first. Because the, uh, whatchamacallit? Get framey or something. There were things that were going in slow motion. Maybe it wasn't frame issues. Seems like things are going in slow motion. It doesn't seem like frame issues. But anyways, um... What was I about to say? Oh, it's because I'm slowed, I think. That must be what it is. What was I even saying? I was talking about something. Oh, uh, don't kill the nebula first, because when it gets low on health, it's just going to self-destruct itself, and you don't want to get hit with the self-destruct when an enemy is, uh, another enemy is attacking you. I'm going to try and kill this thing before it self-destructs, actually, by chain attacking it when it's low. Which it's about to do. Oh, yeah, here it goes. It's doing it. I need to kill it now. All right, please do enough damage, or even better than that, give me some chain links. If I get some chain links, I can definitely get it. Chain link, chain link, chain link. Oh, never mind. I killed it. Dang, that did a lot. Gave a ton of EXP, too, and AP. Love it. These, uh, looks like these hoxes are going to leave me alone. That's nice. All right, got to get a magma stone out of here, or a magma rock, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure... That once we walk in here, yep, giant dragon, which has the stone, if I'm not mistaken. We have to kill it for it. Con Conflagrant Raxiel. Come here, you. It's a signature enemy, so we're going to get an affinity coin out of this. Don't mind if I do. Here we go, guys. I'll try and keep aggro since, as we know, I take no damage. Let me go ahead and find out. Uh, you do resist top or break, whatever it is. Did he summon in? Oh, he summoned in some freaking nebulas. That's annoying. Die, you fool. Oh, I forgot to do my... forgot to set up my aura. That's my own fault. Die, you stupid Raxiel. We're doing a ton of damage to it, and it's hit me once and done like 500, but that appears to be it. Or one of the nebulas hit me, one or the other. Point is, is we should have this in the bag, because it's getting hurt a lot. Die, I say. Die. Screw your vortex. Take this. Get your strength down. Yeah, I'd say we've got this in the bag for the most part. Serene Heart, gotta remember to use that every now and then. The only reason I use it just now is because I'm about to use Thunder, but I should definitely use it more than that. But my preferred is Spirit Breath, definitely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Worldly Slash, you're almost there. Take this. If I could just get up to this chain attack, I could finish this thing off. Probably. Oh, Blossom Dance, even better. As the chain attack comes, I use Blossom Dance. Nice. Probably should have told them to focus their attacks on the Raxiel with me, but I don't think it's mattered. Not the Thunderbolt. Ooh, that hurt a lot, actually. Let's kill this thing right now. Time to die. Melia's attack will kill it at times three damage, assuming she has a elemental. Oh, yeah. Hopefully she uses Bolt. Uh, she used the fire one, but it's still killed. 
Thank you for the Magma Rock. And we need to finish this fight so I can take this. Uh, this is the first time a rare enemy like that has that I've seen that they've not dropped a golden chest. I thought that they always drop golden chests, but this one has not. Did not think that that was plausible, but apparently it is. It's the source of our strength indeed. Die, you stupid nebula. There you go, daze it. I'm gonna kill this one before it can explode too. Please die before you explode, thank you. There you go. Did you just call me Dun Dun? There's still more of these things. I got you, Ricky, don't worry. Melia can do pretty good at healing. I didn't realize she could do that much healing. Did the fight just, the music just changed again? Did a signature enemy just join? Oh wow, level Moonlight Pyman. Yeah, level 46. Well, let's get rid of these other two first. I gotta try my best to make sure I kill them before they can explode. Since I've got so many of them fighting at once and one of them is signature. Time to die. There we go, that's another one down. All right, let's get this little one out of here first, guys. Then we'll kill the signature one. Ricky is low on HP, that is not good. But then you know, it is Ricky, so. Let's hit this one up. Thank goodness that that signature one didn't uh, didn't hit at the same time we were fighting the signature dragon thing. That would have been a trouble. That would have been a trouble. What does that mean, I wonder? That would have been a trouble. Hmm. I love it when I just randomly make up new things for the heck of it. Ah, oh, she doesn't have a, well, spear break. Please, Link. Dang it. That was such a waste because I didn't, she didn't have an element summon. I gotta pay attention to that stuff. I gotta look and see if she has elements or not. No element cannon. Just die instead. I know you can topple these things. I just didn't get break that time, unfortunately. All right. Let me see. What are you doing? Is that the signature one over there attacking, it looks like? Element bullet? Elemental bullet, even? That does nothing. Yeah, even when they're signature enemies, these things are pretty weak. Oh, it's dead. I'm attacking nothing now. <laughs> Alright, I gotta draw this thing's aggro. Leave Ricky alone. Focus on me. There we go. Hopefully I can just keep the aggro. This might take a little while. <laughs> In fact, this is going to end up taking so long we're not going to have time to do the cutscenes in the tower. We'll have to do them next time. Are you focusing on Ricky again? Stop that. Focus on me. Why are you attacking him? I said focus on me. Come here, you. No, he's still attacking Ricky. This thing really wants to kill Ricky. Holy cow. I mean, I'm just going to get him right back up when he goes down, so it's not going to be that worthwhile. Actually, I'm going to chain attack instead. I should have looked... Okay, Melia does have spirits. I was about to say, I should have looked... Or elementals, whatever she calls them. I've got to get into the habit of looking and making sure that everyone is ready for a chain attack, because sometimes they're not. Hit it up. Ah, the bolt, the strongest. And let's keep it going. Hopefully I can get back to Melia. If I use another element attack, it's going to do a crap ton. Never mind. I do have the lowest affinity with these two. Well, no, no, no. Uh, I've got, like, level 4 with Melia, which is really good. But I've only got, like, level 2 with Ricky. So I guess I'm pretty sure that determines your uh, chains is how much... Uh... Oh, Melia. Oh! How can this be? When did I get so low on HP? Oh, it ran away when Melia got back up. I definitely should have died there. What the heck happened? It, like, used that attack to hit all of us? And I think it inflicted blaze or something, so we were taking damage every turn. And, uh... But Melia... I got Melia up as I was in taking blaze damage. Also, you can walk in lava, by the way. I wanted to show that off. It does a ton of damage to you. But yeah, you can definitely walk through it for a little while. I'm not even gonna bother with that thing, to be honest with you. I'll fight it again on my off time. Like, it's such a hassle to kill something like that. Let's get the heck out of here. It's daytime, guys! Actually, I'm going to fast travel. If I fast travel, I should have enough time to do the cutscenes in the uh, in the chapel. Let's do it. Yo, what's up? Open sesame. Man, magma rocks work fast. Let's get in here. The letters are worn and difficult to make out. But it's definitely the language of the High End here. They look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. Just walk inside. 
So what happened there is that the door itself recognized the absolute amazingness of Dunban and thought, yeah, I don't want this guy to even attempt to open me. I'm just going to open now because I know I'm going to end up opening for him anyways. So that's basically what happened there. Even inanimate objects respect Dunban. That's how great Dunban is. This place. Something up, Shulk. No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. I'm not sure, but... thought I had it. I can't seem to recall. Probably because you were like four years old or something. Are you all right? What? Must be tired. Don't worry. This is Ose Tower. Built by the High Entia to house and protect the Monado. The Ceremony of Seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean... So this is where the Monado was kept. My dad took it from here. Have you always been able to see the future? You told me you were from a long line of seers. Did you have the ability from birth? Once, I too came into contact with the Monado. Huh. Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado, and a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here. Shulk, why do you think we can see the future? I hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings such as us can also be predicted. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean... the Monado? The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means... My visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mechonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Did you think it was just a myth? I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it.
Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi! I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. Dunban's uh, thinking pretty hard about something. But anyways, I'm pretty sure this next, like, 1,500... I never decided what this was. It's probably feet. 1,500 feet away is uh, the location... What do British use as their standard, like, distance? They use feet, don't they? They don't use miles. They use meters, I think. Or kilometers or something. I don't remember. I don't care. I'm, I'm tired. It's late. I, I'm not in the mood to think about distance. But anyways, I'm pretty sure the boss is at the end of this 1,500. So... We're going to save and call it a day here. When we come back next time, we'll finish descending down Valak Mountain and take on the boss of the area. Uh, what level am I at? 47. I probably won't do much, if any, uh, quests in between now and then. Maybe a few, maybe not. Uh, probably try and raise some affinity, if anything. Oh, I'll get the uh, Colony 6 objects. I might get a level or up, uh, level up or two as a result of trying to get the Colony 6 objects. But I'm going to try and get the stuff we need to level up Colony 6 one more time. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Until then, farewell.